Hi everybody, this is Lisa and it's time for another English uh, class here on Verbling and in this hour we're going to be looking at a bunch of photos on the internet and we're going to practice talking about them, describing them, what we see and um, talking about them a little bit and so this gives us a way uh, to improve vocabulary and perhaps uh, just improve your uh, ability to describe things in more detail. Sometimes when you are asked to describe things, uh, you might have to use words that aren't always um, so common, uh, but it's good to practice uh, this skill anyways. So, um, hi there, Aisha. How are you? Good. Good. <laughs> no, I'm done. Sorry. Okay, good. No problem. And on this, how are you? Uh, in chat there. So we do have some reservations for the class, so we'll see uh, who shows up. I put the link to the first uh, page that we're going to be using so we can find some nice uh, photographs. It's the National Geographic uh, website, so obviously that magazine is known to have some really amazing um, Photographs, some photographers from all around the world um, uh, contribute to the magazine and also to the website. So it's a, it's a nice place to find um, interesting photographs that have things to do with uh, people different from different cultures, nature, landscapes, animals, all types of uh, things like that. Um, sometimes we might also look at some that are from like news websites, but oftentimes those have some more uh, not so wonderful images of the things that are happening around the world. So we'll see if we go into that a little bit. Hi there, Christian. How are you? Hi, Lisa. Nice to meet you. Yes. Christian, where are you from? I'm from Colombia. Colombia. Okay. Wonderful. Welcome. And uh, what time is it there in Colombia? Thank you. Oh. Say it again. Nine o'clock p.m. Oh, only nine. Oh, okay. Nine nine o'clock. Okay, just two hours. Yeah. I'm I'm in Washington State, so for me, uh, it's seven p.m. And Asia is in Montreal, and so it's what ten there. Asia? Exactly. Okay. Uh, Claudio Javier in the verbling chat. Um, if you want to enter, you have to uh, click on this the join class button. Um, if you are a member, if not, then you need to either become a member <laughs> or um, are they still having ways where you can get some free tickets? Anybody know? I haven't been keeping up with that. So, But the best is just to buy a membership and then you get to go to all the classes and it makes it a lot easier that way and you can reserve your seats ahead of time. So to make sure that you get into the classes that you want to uh, participate in. Otherwise, uh, you uh, just come to each class, and if you want to join, you just click on the, the Join Class button that should be there up above the video. Okay, so Christian and Aisha, let's just get started. There might be some other people who join us. We, you never know. Uh, we can have up to nine people in the Verbling chat. So, um, okay, two people can't enter. Is there, I guess I better deal with this. Can you see the, uh, I'm going back it says to rejoin the class. There should be a join class button right above the video. And if, it, if it's not there, then hopefully somebody at Verbling can um, make some kind of a fix. Andres is saying that the Hangout is over. No, it just started. So maybe you have to make sure that you go to uh, the class uh, where it's under me. You know, I'll, I'll see if I can give you the link. It says the class is live now uh, with Lisa. So I'm going to give you the link. Maybe that will help. On my end, it just says rejoin the class, but I don't want to click on that. So if you go to that link perhaps um, that will work for you. In the meantime, let me just quickly go over here to uh, Facebook so I can let these guys know what's going on for you guys. 
Uh, so we'll see. Looks like some people can join, so we'll just... Um, we have Asia and Christian who didn't have a problem joining, and I did let the verbally people know, so if there is some problem that needs to be fixed, hopefully they can work on it while we continue the class. Okay, did you guys uh, go to that uh, page? You, you don't necessarily have to open it if you don't want to. I'm going to put the pictures here on the screen so that everybody who's watching and listening to this class, this video, uh, you can follow along. All right, so here's the first one up. And the title of this one is Photo of the Day. And let me just make sure everybody knows that this is the National Geographic website under photography. And there's something on this website called Photo of the Day. And so I'm starting out with September 1st. Um, and then we're going to go through these some of these photos and see how you would describe this photo. So, Aisha, why don't you go ahead and describe this uh, photo to us. What do you see? Okay, I will try. I will okay. say it's, uh, it, it's peaceful, mm -hmm. it's calming. I agree. The light is just perfect. <laughs> and I, I, I used to like watch the sunrise, mm -hmm. so it's really a, I, I, it, it's a nice picture. Do you think that that's a sunrise or a sunset? Uh huh. <laughs> I will say sunrise uh, because the light is like uh, is like shining over the. Uh, the clouds. Exactly. <laughs> that's why. That's why I'm clouds, here. So I'll help you out. I think it's more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's more like sunrise. Yeah. What color is the water? That was. I thought that was pretty interesting. <laughs> if, if, if you look at the wave, it's uh, it's uh, white. Yeah, oh, the crashing of the wave. Yeah, that part, that what? foam or something. The yeah. other part is black. Yeah, it's black. I think it's the contrast to be the light. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I thought I'll, right here in this uh, por portion of the wave is um, it looks kind of like an emerald green to me. So oh. that, yeah, it looks green to me. So I don't know, it looked cool. So this part, uh, so this is a picture of a wave. Um, it's in Wa Oahu, which is in Hawaii, one of the islands of Hawaii. And does anybody else want to add something to Asia's description? Anything else that you noticed about this photo that is interesting to you? I don't know uh, what is the kind of color is like green or or, or yeah, blue, but I don't know, like a cyan. I don't know. Yeah, this part right here. The uh, sorry, hold on. This part right here. Yes. Like, yeah. To me, it looks like a emerald green, kind of like a darker green. It gets lighter up here, and um, this is an interesting uh, photo because it's showing just the wave. And it's starting to break over here, but he got it. He's still watching the wave as it curls. That's called curling. And this is um, area right there is called like the barrel of the wave. And it, that's sometimes where the surfers like to go. And you see surfers going along that underneath as it's a crashing or cresting, we call it. So that's kind of interesting. Um, actually, I think uh, this photo is. Let's see. Oops. What was that? Um, yes, it's a water during. He shot it knee deep in the water during sunrise on the northeast side of Oahu. So yes, you were right, Asia. It's a sunrise, not a sunset. So it looks like the because of the clouds and the sun, you can see it kind of. It looks like it's pushing up above the clouds. So good. 
All right, that's nice. Nice picture. I thought it was also relaxing. I wouldn't mind being there on that beach, <laughs> yeah, watching, watching the waves. Okay, so the title of this photo is Cafe in Sorrento, Italy. So that's a few things going on here. So why don't we go with Andres? Hi, Andres. How are you? I think your microphone is muted. So click on the, the microphone there and turn it on. I don't hear you yet. Does anybody else hear him? No. Nope. Nope. The microphone right up there above the Verbling uh, chat box, or if you click or you move your mouse over your picture, there will be a little microphone there. If it's red, then it's muted. Maybe your volume's down, too. That could be another thing. I don't know. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to let you try to figure that out, and I'm going to go to Christian. Okay, Christian, what, what, how can you describe this photo to us? If you were telling your friend if you saw this picture, what would, how would you describe it? What's going on? Uh, I can't see it uh, so well. It's, can't it's, see it? Uh, I can't see it, no. Okay, I'm going to... Um, give you the link in the chat. Hopefully it's going to work here. didn't work. Okay, now let me go to the Google chat. If you guys open up the Google chat, there's the uh, link. Do you s Can you see it at all? Aisha, okay. can you see it? Yes. Uh, oh, okay. I can see it. Okay, good. So who, what do you see in that picture? What's going on? Well, uh, maybe, well, it's a cafe in Italy. Maybe it's a, I don't know if, if I say well, it's a fresco. Uh huh. It's like a, a, like a painting into the wall. Yeah, painting on the uh, wall. Mm -hmm. Maybe, yes, um, maybe this is, it was painting since, uh, I don't know, uh, 15th century. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, well, uh, is it's um, there are two men talking talking about something. I don't know. <laughs> 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 um, yeah. Or something else. Um, is maybe it's, it's, it's a, a representation of uh, cul the Rome cul culture. Uh huh. Yeah, Roman culture from a long time ago. Yeah. A long time ago. Yeah. Um, um, well, uh, the styles of the I don't know how to say. Uh, Column, column. Columns, the green columns. The columns in the background here. This right here. Yes. Yeah, those are columns. Yeah. Yes, I have a style of uh, Roman sculpture. Mm -hmm. uh, in the top, there is, I think, uh, the name of the top is uh, Dor uh, Honic or a Dorian. Uh, oh. Column. Uh huh. Well, think, you you know, know more than I do about that then. <laughs> about architecture. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I I I heard uh, uh -huh. some sometime of yeah, the, sure. the types of the of the column. Uh huh. And yeah, what the well, thing? That, yeah, the, go ahead. I think that's all. I was thinking that it, um, That's the, all the wall. I was thinking the wall looks very tall for a cafe. Usually, when you go in a cafe, it's very, you know, the ceiling is not so high. This the way this picture is that the wall looks so high. 
<laughs> it's very a very open, wide space, it looks like to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, cafes here in, in the United States are not that big. <laughs> They're small. <laughs> But yeah, so it's interesting because you have that that <laughs> yes. style of painting and kind of crumbling on the wall, and then these kind of more modern wooden chairs. Yeah. So yeah, they're chatting. So here, yeah, under okay. underneath, you can read. You know, this is their description. So uh, the chapel, okay. a chapel's mural serves as a splendid backdrop. So that's backdrop is whatever's behind them. And there are two men chatting at the cafe. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so, of course, and you knew a little bit about it, too, the architecture. So that's kind of what is being featured here. Is this some architecture, Roman-style ar architecture from a long time ago? So interesting uh, contrast mm -hmm. between the modern-day life and then this type of architecture <laughs> from a long time ago. Okay. Yeah, yes, good. Yes. Okay, here we go. Is the next photo is called Balloon Ride in Myanmar. That's kind of a wild one there. Claudio. Did you get How Okay, you good. It's working perfectly. Great. Yes. So here's this photo. How would you describe what's going on in this photo? That's kind of a surreal, interesting. Well Yeah. It's a it's a sunrise or a sunset. Mm hmm Couldn't tell. Mm -hmm. And you can see uh, three cups. Y you can see a roof of mm -hmm. something like a chapel. Uh, yeah. Arabian chapel. Uh-huh. Uh, you can see the, the sun uh, through the, the cup trees. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see some uh, grays, grays, green. Some yeah, green, the, gray. The dawn. Yeah, it's the dawn. I I don't know what Asia. Do you think it's a sunset or a sunrise? Why me? Because <laughs> you because you I had a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, let me let me see that. I will try to be an expert. It will <laughs> if you look at the way that the light shine. I think it. <laughs> Must be about what time? Sunrise, <laughs> it, because it, it looks like the light is <laughs> it's really up. Yes. It's like like six in the morning. Something right. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. It does look like an early morning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that's uh, the title gives us a you know the balloon ride. So this picture, he must be taking a balloon ride. That's how he got this um, perspective. Being able to, like you said, look uh, upon the treetops and the tops of these are temp temples, I would say, um, since it's not a like a chapel would usually be more like for the Catholic religion or even mm -hmm. like a Christian religion. But this is in Myanmar, which is Burma, so it's probably perhaps a Bud Buddhist temple or something. I'm not sure. I didn't read down below uh, mm -hmm. what it says, but yeah. So it's kind of looking like a little bit foggy cloud, like the, the sun is coming through, the rays are coming through the clouds. It's very interesting. It's uh, pro probably a, a photograph, not a, a painting. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It is a photograph, but it does look kind of like a painting, actually. Yes, like, an, yes. like an old style painting. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I, don't, I haven't read on the website how they choose the photos, but I'm imagining people send in photos every day to, to see if theirs get picked, you know, so they probably just want a variety of stuff from around the world. Here we see some dolphins in the Red Sea. <laughs> More sun. Asia, what time of day is it? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's three o'clock. <laughs> three o'clock, the, and the, the the dolphins are doing what? Uh huh. Good question. <laughs> Singing. Singing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're communicating with each other. Yes. Yeah. Do you guys have you ever seen dolphins before in in real life? No. No, me neither. No. I haven't either. But I think um. It's a pretty amazing thing. There are um, when I went to Hawaii, they had not where I was, but on other islands, 
I read about like some tours that you could do where you would be taken out on a boat and you could go swim with the dolphins. But um, that would be pretty fun. So I have, be, yeah. I, I have whales in my sea. Oh yeah. Yeah, that those giant whales. The, the giant whales, like a blue whale or something, or a gray yeah. whale. Yeah. Oh my gray, gosh. Gray whales, I think. Wow, really? Yes. <laughs> We have some whales near where I live, um, but they're the, the killer whales, the black and white one. They called the orcas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, but you know, can't swim in that water. It's too freezing cold. So <laughs> 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 yeah. Hi, uh, Ruben. How are you? Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you perfectly. Okay. So, Ruben, in this class, I don't know if you've been watching, but we're going through some photographs on the National Geographic. Uh, website and we're just talking about them, um, practicing, describing things, looking at details. Um, so we're getting some practice in using some descriptive words in English. So how about okay. you tell us about what you see in this one? The swimmers at Kumta. I don't know where that is. Probably India, perhaps. Um, yeah. So what do you see in this picture? How would you describe what's going on in this picture? Oh, there are. Four children. Mm -hmm. uh, three of three of them seem to be playing. Mm -hmm. um, the water is it, it's brown thing. Yeah. And I can see so um, some clouds in in the sky. Yep. Yep. What um what do you think that is that they're swimming in? What kind of uh I was I don't know, does it look like a lake or a part of a river or like a perhaps a just like a basin of water, you know, like holding where they hold water for maybe for irrigation or something? Do you know what irrigation is where you you water the crops later with the water? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's irrigation. Oh. Anybody have any? It's yeah, go ahead. Um, it's a lake. You think so? What does Maybe. anybody else think? Is it a lake or is it a river or is it like a? What do you think? Anybody? Any guesses? Let's see if it tells us. Yep. Non-stop rain for a week left all the small lakes filled with water. In Kukta, says your shot contributor Dinesh Head of an early monsoon. Okay, so that filled up some small lakes with a bunch of water. Interesting. It looks like uh, pretty good weather, though, for swimming. Doesn't look cold. <laughs> looks nice and warm. <laughs> yeah. All right, good. Okay, blue ghost fireflies in North Carolina. Aisha, what's happening in this picture? Wow. <laughs> it looks like American horror. <laughs> <laughs> a horror movie. <laughs> yeah. It does. Going out into the woods, be careful. Uh, thanks, God. I'm not often going there. <laughs> that is wild. Yeah, They're I don't know what's going on, really. <laughs> blue ghost fireflies. I've never heard of those before. I wonder if it's just a trick from the camera, you know, like... Yeah, maybe they're using some filter. Yeah, <laughs> like they take it really slow. Worried. Yeah, I think, I don't know much about photography, but I think they can change the speed, you know, yeah. of the, yeah. So sometimes that has that effect. Yeah, anyway, it's a wood. <laughs> yeah? And it's a... Uh, forest? Uh, yeah. It's in the night. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know what is green there, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, some leaves or something. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, but some bushes. Green leaves? Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. Right there, there's one in the middle. Um, yeah, well, okay, so it says, This is the forest floor in North Carolina. is traced with the movement of blue ghost fireflies in this time-lapse image. So, yeah, he took it over a... Certain amount of time, yeah, yeah. So 
these fireflies are unique because their blink pattern. You guys know what blinking is? Well, blinking in humans is when you open open and close your eyes. That's yeah. blinking. Yeah, I guess they have a long blink pattern. Hmm. Interesting. Well, there you go. Have you? Do you guys have uh, fireflies in Montreal? Where like, uh, you know, like uh, what are those called? The but the flies that fly around at night that are that light up. Do you not have those? In yeah, Spanish. In Spanish, what are they called? Luciérnagas. 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 Yeah. Do you have those? Fi yeah. Uh, really. But not seen. not in the in city. Uh, in not the, in the city, yeah. <laughs> in the woods, obviously. in the forest, <laughs> yes, in the yes. mountains. Yeah, yeah. They have a more um, not where I live in Washington State, but like in the southern states <laughs> in uh, the United States. So I don't know that you would have them up in Montreal, but um, I think they have. Sometimes they catch them in like a jar, and it can light up. Like yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think like the other one say not in the city. Well, maybe yeah. When yeah, when you go on your uh, when camping. you go outside, yeah, on camping, you can see them. Yeah. Yeah, that would be kind of fun. All right, here we go. A bolt hole. This is the hole of the boat, the bottom part of it, like that. That's the hole um, in the Czech Republic. So, what is going on with this boat? What happened? This boat, Christian. <laughs> <laughs> well, since like uh, there was a, a sea or a river mm -hmm. or something, yeah. it's yeah. Uh, just it's like the third. Mm. So um, there is uh, like a footprint over there. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, it looks like people were walking around it. Yeah. Yeah, and the boat, well, <laughs> <laughs> passed away. <laughs> <laughs> that is, boat is pretty destroyed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder how uh, long it has been out there. Do you know what, uh, so mm. I would say that it's, some ground that yeah well, could have been a water area that dried up, so that's what it looks like there. And this looks like what it says down here, mud. It's a mud-covered boat, so that's all the mud. But this is also mud, but it's not really muddy. It looks like it's kind of dried, dried up. Um, dried. Right. Yeah, because and that's why the land cracks. You know, like it uh, gets dry and then it cracks like that, even though it might be muddy. I'm I'm curious about the photographer. How close did he really get? Because I wonder um, if it was slippery mud. Because if it was still wet on top, you know, it can be slippery. Or if it um, if it sinks at all. Do you know, like sometimes with mud, it if you step in some mud, it'll just you'll fall into it. It'll you'll sink. So okay. oh okay it says here it was the bottom of a drained dam in che in the Czech Republic so this used to be a lake I guess where there used to be a lot of water and then they drained it and now it dried up and that's what it cracks those are called cracks so it's all cracked earth yeah good oh, crevices crevices yeah could be crevices looks kind of big deep ones too it's not just um you know small ones on the top it they look uh -huh. sort of deep. Ew. Yeah. Wonder what happened to all the fish. <laughs> <They left. laughs> okay, here we go. Another one. Airplane shadow, California. All right, that's where I'm from, California. I live in Washington right now, though. Okay, Claudio, describe this picture for us. What do you see? Well, a plane shadow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and below, you can see the buildings. Mm -hmm. And a river? That's a river? Uh, the river, I think. Where? Right by the tail? In the, the middle. Airplane? In the middle. I yeah, think yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, I don't know, it looks like it might be um, a railroad or, or a car, like a highway or something maybe. Yeah, mm -hmm. highway, maybe. I think. I think it looks like a highway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can make mm -hmm. it bigger. 
Ooh, okay. Well, you can see clouds. Yeah. And the the, the sun uh, reflecting in in the cloud the clouds. Yep. You can see the the sea in, in the top of the picture. Over here. Yes. Some some islands. Huh. Yeah. Uh, I see a stadium. Dark. Yep, over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good eye. <laughs> soccer stadium. Yeah, soccer, football, American football, probably. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Yeah. I um. Did you notice this color here? Like a rainbow color. That looks mm -hmm. pretty cool. Yeah. The sh around the shadow. Yeah. Wonder what where they're flying over. San Francisco. Okay. It was a clear and beautiful day as I took off from San Francisco Airport heading eastbound. So that's away from the ocean. And he took it on an iPhone? <laughs> <laughs> he took it from with an iPhone. That's a pretty good shot for an iPhone. Got all the different colors and things in there. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. I wonder how, how far out of San Francisco he is because uh, a little bit out of San Francisco. If you're going east out of San Francisco, you might be flying over like Oakland or that area. And um, yeah. Okay, good. Not too bad. Okay, here's a snowy evening in Tokyo, Japan. Whoa, cool picture. Okay, uh, Ruben. Okay. What's going on in this picture? Uh, Besides that, it's snowing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it seems like uh, uh, it's a uh, winter. Mhm. Mm because the the three don't have any live uh, live. Um. And it seems it it is cold. Because people have uh, a lot of uh, some clothes like clothes, jackets, yeah. step jackets, hats, scarves. Yeah. Yeah, and same that is a, a public uh, street mm -hmm. because there are several people there. Yeah. What are they carrying to keep the snow off of them? Do you know the name of that? Yeah, umbrella. Mm-hmm, right. Umbre umbrellas. They're using umbrellas, yeah. That's interesting. Asia. it snows a lot in Montreal. Mm -hmm. Do you use umbrellas when it's snowing? <laughs> I will ask no. the same question because <laughs> I don't know why they're carrying an umbrella because in Montreal, if you carry an umbrella, you will be tired. <laughs> All day long. <laughs> All day long. So you put the cap and you <laughs> you go do your stuff. <laughs> you can hold an umbrella all day because it's uh, snowing. Yeah. yeah, it's winter, so every day. And I see the amount of um, snow. It's not really a big deal. <laughs> yeah, they don't. It's no. There's not really any snow accumulated on yeah. the ground. Yeah. Yeah. So. But uh, I think they're not used to have. Uh, no, no. In the city, yeah, I don't yeah. think so. Not much. That's why they look like uh, they're yeah. freezing or something. Like that. <laughs> because well, with yeah. that amount, uh, we are, uh, we will be happy. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, that is true. It doesn't look like it's too cold. Even though some people have some jackets, they're not like winter coats, really yeah, heavy, heavy like jackets. On top clothes. Yeah, must have been an unusual thing for. Uh, Tokyo. Let's see what it says down here. The snow season in Japan is long, but Tokyo receives only small amounts of snow. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, like you said, it's really a small amount. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and it does look kind of um, wet. Like, it looks like yeah. it's wet. It's not really dry snow. If it's dry snow, then it starts piling up on the floor, on the ground, mm -hmm. sidewalk. Yeah. Yeah, but when you're not used to it, you can really freeze pretty fast, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. If it starts snowing and you get wet, eh, cold. 
Don't have to worry about that in Brazil or Colombia, really, I don't think, right? <laughs> <laughs> no snow? Is there snow? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. Uh, yeah, we used to have a student in a Verbling here uh, who lived in, I think it was Columbia Body, and uh, he was always trying to convince somebody to do an exchange with him because he wanted to go live in a cold place because he was tired of living <laughs> on the beach <laughs> and with the nice warm sun. Yeah. He wanted to go uh, snowboarding. <laughs> it was funny. Okay, here we go. Completely different climate here. Cheetahs and tourists in Kenya. Whoa. All right. What is going on in that picture? Whose turn is it? I forgot. How about Claudia? Oh, Aisha, go ahead. <laughs> I forgot where we were. So, Aisha, what's going on? Yeah. The one yeah. from Kenya. <laughs> and they go so far. <laughs> they go on so far. A safari, probably. Yeah, that's not like an everyday thing. It's too thing. beautiful, <laughs> beautiful and scary. Yeah. Would you be scared? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> I wonder. Oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there are two. two. There, there are uh, how to say that. Cheetahs. But uh, yeah, no, because no? they are not far from uh, the people on the car. Oh, two, uh, what do you want to say? They're, they're very close. Yeah, two, yeah. Two, they're very, yeah. Close, so I be really scared, they're very close, yeah. And the tourists, they look kind of happy about it. Yeah, they look happy, <laughs> but the, he, he has his zoom. Why don't you zoom on the cheetah? <laughs> yeah. I'm looking at him far away. <laughs> because if he jump on you, nobody can help you. <laughs> right. There must be... Um, on top, the roof here must be like a glass or see-through or something, because it looks like he's taking the picture through the top, you know? Yeah, but in this side, uh, yeah. there is nothing. <laughs> oh, you think so? Oh, right, no, right here in the front, yeah, on this side, right here. Yeah, I think on so. Side. Yeah, that's true, but, yeah, I don't think the cheetah can get in. I wonder if... <laughs> are you not, uh, are you not taking this? <laughs> I swear to God, I love them, but uh, yeah, yeah, we not say, that close. We could say uh, too close for comfort. That's how you say that. Yeah, exactly. Too close too for close comfort. comfort. You're, right you're a very gorgeous animal, but uh, mm -hmm. go go a little bit farther <laughs> away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, maybe the, I, I know that they pay really... Uh, they pay a fortune for That's that, right. so if you want uh, proximity like that, go for yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, they pay a lot of money. People pay thousands of dollars to go yeah. on safaris to yeah. see animals up close. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This cheetah over here on the tires looks pretty uninterested. Hungry, baby. <laughs> yeah. Like, what? Am I going to get any food from these guys or what? <laughs> <laughs> Take my picture and give me some meat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody ever been on a safari? Yeah. No. No, no. me neither. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, be, it would be interesting, but no. All right, these guys, what does it say here? Okay, a pair of cheetahs jump onto onto the top of a tourist vehicle. Uh, the your shot contributor, so that's the person who took the picture, didn't think too much only realized it was an unusual moment, pulled out my camera, and started clicking. Well, I wonder where he was. Person, you know? Yeah. The photographer. Was he just standing outside, or was he in another vehicle? Probably. Riding a cheetah. Yeah, he <laughs> <laughs> no, he was riding an elephant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <I'm> so lucky. <laughs> yeah. I guess um, he must have been in another tourist vehicle. On the uh, I hope for him. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's still alive. <laughs> okay. All right, here's some something fun. Festival dancers in India. Wow, that's very uh, colorful. <laughs> okay, Christian, how would you describe what is going on in this picture? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy it's like, not my uh, 
like a ritual, <laughs> religious ritual. Yeah, some kind of celebration, may, maybe. May. <laughs> yes, yes, they're wearing uh, costumes mm -hmm. with uh, colors, costumes. Col very, you could say colorful, very colorful. colorful lots of, yeah. uh huh, full of color, yeah. The the invited people, uh, the guests, uh, the guests mm -hmm. uh, take like a petals and mm -hmm. and not I don't know celebrity. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of yeah. I wasn't thinking it was kind of like paper, but you're probably right. That's you think it's flower petals. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. flowers. Yeah, lots of flower petals. Wow, pretty. And it, it looks like a traditional wedding. <laughs> Perhaps yeah. a wedding, yeah. Let's see, yeah. what does it say on the thing here? Okay, a cloud of marigold, rose, and jasmine. So those are three kinds of flowers. Petals envelops Ra's Leela dancers during a holy festival performance in Vrindavan, India. Okay, according to your shot contributor, Priyanka Tilang, performers and organizers work hard to preserve the ancient Dance, a dramatic presentation of the events of Lord Krishna's childhood days. All the roles are played by male artists dressed up in female costumes. That's what I was wondering, because they're wearing dresses, but these are guys. So that's interesting. Custom. And their okay. faces are pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> yeah, all of the guys that are participating are men, but I they are dressed up. I thought the right up. one was a girl. <laughs> I, yeah, I did too at first, but then, um, but I was wondering why this one on the left here was wearing a dress too, because they have the same costume, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they're reenacting um, Lord Krishna's childhood days, so storytelling and dancing and that type of thing. They're wearing a lot of uh, face paint also. Yeah. yeah. It's very colorful, very uh, fancy, fancy dresses. Wow, okay. Very, lots of color versus this one. Okay, this is kind of a stark contrast. In Jal Mahal, India. Jal Mahal, Claudio, what's going on in this picture? I see birds. Mm -hmm. Let me see the picture. Birds. I don't know what kind of birds. Yeah, I don't know. Pigeons, maybe? Pigeons, yeah. Maybe, some of them. And down you can see a river. Mm -hmm. With uh, towels. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what is that? They look kind of big. Yeah. Pretty big buildings, some kind of temples maybe? I don't know. Pagodas. Pagodas, yeah. Yeah. And in the background you can see mountains. Mhm. Mm and clouds. Well, the whole picture is cloudy. Yeah. yeah. Do you think it's like a dawn, like a beginning of the morning time, or sometimes it's hard to know in a picture, like if it's smoggy, you know, like there's mm -hmm. smog, or if it's just the light from the clouds. Let's see what yeah. they what they say about this. So I'm wondering. So it is a flock of pigeons, uh, and there was a misty backdrop. So that's what we were talking about, the clouds. So it was early morning. And he was roaming around, so walking around Jal Mahal, not walking, probably in a boat, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he says, I was in the right position to capture those floating structures' reflections. So the reflections are what you see here in the water, like a mirror image of those buildings. One uh, With one nearby and another a bit far, balancing the frame. The water was very still. Yeah, so the pigeons coming out, that's what caught his eye, those pigeons. I, it doesn't really tell us what these are for, though, but it is interesting that they're just out there in the middle of the water. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they are. 
something probably uh, religious or something like that. Yeah. Okay, let's see what else is going on. Copper plant in Congo. <laughs> wow. Okay, Asia, you got a good one here. What's going on there? <laughs> that one is I don't know hard to explain. Okay, what's the man doing? I don't know because I. I <laughs> Do you know what, what copper is? is? Yeah, what is copper? Copper is a type of metal. It's like um, you can make pipes and things out of copper. It's very. It's more expensive nowadays. Now they use things like steel. But copper has the color, like this color, gold. You know? Or like the glass, the making glass, something like that? Uh, no, it's, it's more like copper wires now. Is they use a lot of, uh, they make, uh, it's a very thin metal, and then so you can use it like uh, to make telephone wires, I think, and electrical wires, and um, You can like do almost everything with copper. With copper, yeah. So it's, um, you know, the copper mines are very important to specific industries that use copper. It can be used in lots of different um, indus industrial uses, I could say. And so this I, is a I, copper plant. I, yeah? I've seen uh, so socks made of copper. Socks? Yeah. <laughs> wow. But like they're yeah. very expensive. Yeah, I bet. No. <laughs> so yeah, who knows? This is a hard one to describe, but I would say there's some type of um, machine here, mm -hmm. and it looks like it drops down into this area here and pulls up mm -hmm. copper, I guess. I don't know. It, they must be heating it up, and so it's therefore melting, so high temperatures, and then that way they can move it around. So let's see what it says here. It says, the sun, like a magic wand, turned everything into copper writes your shot contributor, Los uh, Shalakamp, who worked as a safety manager at this copper plant in the Democratic Republic of the Congo's mineral-rich Katanga province, known as the Copper Belt. In this plant, copper is plated, okay, plated, that means it's like flattened, using blanks suspended in an acid copper solution in electro-winning cells. Okay, we don't know what any of that means, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's some kind of technical terminology. <laughs> well, this is what it's doing. They're gathering up the copper, and there's some type of other chemical that allows it to adhere to these plates. And then they're going to move them. And, um, yeah. So I think the photographer was mostly interested in the light, the lighting and how it was. All right, I'm mm. going to give you another one, Aisha. That was a kind of a difficult, mm -hmm. difficult one. Let's see. Okay, we're in Canada. All right, perfect. Winter drive in Canada. Uh-oh. I don't think you're ready for that, are you? <laughs> Too Not soon. Really. Oh, you make me. You make me start. <laughs> start thinking about the winter. Yeah. Okay, does that look familiar to you at all? Really familiar. Really familiar. <laughs> it's really like it's a storm. Yeah. yeah. Bad, bad weather. Bad, cold weather, yeah. Yeah. Nobody going to work, no school. <laughs> right. Stay at home. Yep, stay at home, be warm. Yeah, stay at home days. It looks like that. <laughs> yeah, no school today. We had a bad one last winter. Oh. Yeah, a really bad one. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So this person, because you always have to think, well, this person got this a shot, but where are they? Where is the photographer? So they had to be on that road to get this shot, yeah. right? So, yeah, he's encountered, it says here, difficult winter driving conditions while in search of snowy owls near Ottawa, Canada. So, yes, you can see heavy winds that are blowing the snow. Whoops, where did I go? Um, blowing the snow across, across the street or across the road. Not good. Go home. Okay, here's something a little um, happier. <laughs> Kang kangaroos in Australia. All right, that is kind of a wild picture. The why is it? What is all the? He is used it, something. Is it oh. rain? Yeah, late afternoon shower. No, it's raining. Okay. Huh. Yeah, looks like it's raining. Andres, can is your microphone working now? 
We can't hear you. Christian, you want to describe this photograph, which to me looks so much like a painting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like a, a raining afternoon. Yeah. There are uh, like uh, couples of kangaroos over there, like yeah. protecting of the raining. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Mm, there are so many colors of green. Mm. Yeah. And uh, yep. I don't know what else. <laughs> the um. Do you think it rains there very often? Mm, I don't think so. Yeah, I was thinking about. It's interesting because it does look like the ground is very dry because it looks yeah. brown and dirt and maybe some like dead grasses or something but I'm amazed at how big the trees are those trees right next to the where the kangaroo are they're huge yeah yeah and the ones in the background even look larger taller so that's interesting yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna see what it says down here it's um kangaroo island in South Australia Okay, they were sitting on their veranda outside. A veranda here, a front veranda, is also what we call in the United States a porch. So maybe like a covered porch area so you don't get um, rained on. And so they were just thought that the um, the light looked so amazing and then these they captured these kangaroos. Interesting. Yeah, too fast a shutter speed would have frozen the rain, and too slow would have washed the scene out. Okay, yeah, so when you're taking these different pictures, you got to know what the different effects will be when you take the... Except for if you have an iPhone, you get pretty good shots. <laughs> you don't have to think about it. <laughs> All right, I thought this one was cool. I saw this one earlier. Sheep encounter in China. Wow. That's amazing. Okay, Claudio, tell us what you see in this picture, please. It's a railroad, railroad, um, like a desert. Yeah, it looks like a deserty area. Full of sheep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they are being, uh, how do you say? They are being um, uh, herded. Herded? Yeah, herded. We say herding sheep means um, making them move in a certain way, go somewhere yes, that you yes. want them to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, by the a sheep boy. <laughs> What's the name? <laughs> shepherd. Like a cowboy? Shepherd. <laughs> yeah, shepherd is what we call him. <laughs> shepherd. And in the back, you, you can see mountains. Uh huh. And a very blue sky. Yeah, really blue. Yeah. Really, really blue. Really clear. Yeah, yeah. I, I did, didn't know that there's there was desert in China. Oh really? Yeah. Mm. Isn't there like the Gobi Desert? Is that where the Gobi Desert is? Let's see. Gobi. Yeah. Is that? Let's see. Where is this? Okay, he's on his way back to Lhasa from Kashgar in remote western China. Yeah, that's very remote. Remote mm -hmm. means like far away <laughs> from <laughs> people. All right, so he um, he encountered a big gold pit truck preparing to go back to Lhasa too. Okay, there you go. All right, so he got a lift, so he got a ride from this truck driver, and this is um, what he saw. He says, "I could feel the earth shaking as the sheep ran." He says, "At that moment, I was completely shocked. They just ran across our path without any fear, and at that time, my mind was empty, but for the word." free. So these sheep were running free. It doesn't look like there's much to eat there for the sheep. Like the grass is pretty dry and the ground is kind of dry and rocky. Mm -hmm. But you know those kind of sheep are pretty hardy probably. They're very they can live off of little bits of grass and weeds and things like that. Yeah. And the shepherds usually uh, move the sheep and looking yeah. for grass or yes, that's true. Yeah, it actually. Did you notice this part over here in this uh, like the le uh, left hand corner, kind of in the middle? Looks like there's even more sheep over there. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. 
Yeah, uh, I can't remember. Uh, there were a couple movies that came out that were about this area in China. One was the camel. I mean, it was about a camel. I forget the name of it, but they showed some scenes that looked like this. It was really pretty. Sometimes it was very green with lots of grass. But yeah, very. I bet you this is probably very high up climate too, like um, at a high altitude. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. So it's had snow in those mountains and everything. All right, back to Japan. We have a bridge here. That's pretty. Asia. Oh wait, Andres. I heard you. I saw the green, but now I don't. <laughs> uh, okay, Asia. What what do you see in this? Photo and would you like to be on that train right there? Well, no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I, I will, I will prefer the plane. The plane, yeah, yeah. in San Francisco <laughs> or yeah. in Japan. All right, describe the what you see in this picture because uh, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, it looks like it's it's the night. Mm. Don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah, it's dark. Yeah. yeah, it's dark. It's cloudy. Mm -hmm. It's humid. Yeah, misty. Misty, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, I hope they check uh, the train and everything <laughs> <laughs> often <laughs> because it's not uh, a safe. Uh, Would you be? Why well, it's not safe? Safe road. Oh, the bridge? The bridge, yeah. Even the bridge, I hope it, they check uh, the bridge of Yes. Yeah, um, would you be afraid to go across a bridge like that? I always fear that, oh. even now, yeah, yeah? since really? I was a little girl, yeah. Oh, so, um, you don't like bridges? Not at all. Oh. Do they have bridges in Montreal? Yeah, I use them because I don't have choice. Yeah, but you don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. Huh, interesting. Mm. Yeah, that's a... Yeah, I think it's a long distance, maybe mm. train. Yeah, well, it's kind of only has two cars. That's interesting. Because, mm. you know, usually a train has a lot yeah. of cars. Maybe they, jo they cut for the picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, this is early summer morning, actually, and he says this captured this image of a train on Japan's rail ten Tadami line as it passed through Fukushima Prefecture. Mm. Uh, the haze generated by the river created a fantasy world as the train crossed the railway bridge, Araya says. Yeah. The oh, site so expressed the... Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of ha hazy, maybe. I guess. Maybe, yeah, smoky. But that's in the Fukushima area, which had the big tsunami, yeah. you know. So mm -hmm. he said that it um, it expressed the recovery of the people of Fukushima, defying the earthquake and the nuclear accident of March. But it is like an endless journey. So they're still recovering. I thought the green in the picture was really interesting. It's so dark. The green, mm -hmm. you know, what a contrast from the other picture that was so brown. You know? I wouldn't think it was summer. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. Whoops. Okay. Whoops. Where do we go? Oh. We went back to the sheep. All right. Well, I think we have time for another one here. Let's see. We're almost getting up to today. Let's see. Oh, that's a swan feather. That's that's kind of wild. Not a lot going on in that picture except for some pretty crazy colors. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what the next one is. Spiral staircase in Tokyo, that's another one. Kind of hard to even see what it is. <laughs> Person standing up there, looking down. All right, let's see the next one. All right, Lake Wakatipu in New Zealand. All right, that's another crazy nature one that with misty. It's pretty. I think that one looks like a painting, too. All right, let's see if we can find one that has more action. Oh, gosh, what's this? <laughs> okay, this is a lizard, all right? Garden lizard in India. What else is in this picture here, uh, Christian? Or Andres, if we can hear you. There's some kind of noise. Andres? 
Yes, uh, I don't know if you listen to me. Yes. Yes, I hear you. Yay. Oh, uh, I, I can't <laughs> believe it. <laughs> the last minute. <laughs> In the last minute. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, uh, it, it is my first time. Sorry, I oh, okay. don't. No problem. I, I didn't the uh, configuration. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, now you know how it all works. What? Now you know how it works. Yes. Yeah. At this moment, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay. okay. On the, uh, yeah. Do you want that, that I talk about the picture? Sure. We have a, just a minute left. Go ahead. Okay. I see a horrible animal. <laughs> yeah, a lizard. <laughs> And I, I I don't know the plant is a uh, cactus. Uh huh. Yeah, that's right. And uh, I don't know. It's um, very. It's uh, the photograph is a uh, big zoom. Yeah, very close up. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah, because you can see the real detail of the lizard's scales, like the skin, and the eye. Yeah, it's very close up. Cool. Okay, let me just see if there's any more. Okay, here we go. In Australia, lots and lots of cars at a racetrack. Okay, I think we've had enough pictures from around the world. You guys did a good job of describing. Um, it's, this is actually kind of a difficult thing to do. I think some people think it's like not that big a deal, or it's you know it's uh, easy, but sometimes it can be. Um, hard to think of the words that you want to say and describe and express yourself because probably in your own native languages you would have no problem saying all kinds of things and pointing out the details so I like to do a class like this now and then just to give you a chance to kind of push yourself and like Asia you like make up a story even a little bit about it and to think about what the picture is about and stuff so it's I think it's a good exercise for building your language skills and because it's always something you have to do when you are speaking to other people describe something describe what happened last night describe something um, where you live you know tell them how to get there so being able to describe things um, is a good skill so you guys did a good job thanks for coming to class thank you, and, thank you Lisa. Uh, maybe I'll see, see you in you. another thank class you. later do you bye bye take care you. everybody bye. bye bye you too thank you photo of the day and so I'm starting out with September 1st um, and then we're gonna go through these some of these photos and see how you would describe this photo so Asia why don't you go ahead and describe this uh, photo to us what do you see yeah, I will try I will okay. say it's uh, it it's peaceful. Mm -hmm. It's calming. I agree. The light is just perfect. <laughs> and I, I, I used to like watch the sunrise. Mm -hmm. So it's really a, 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 it, it's a nice picture. Do you think that that's a sunrise or a sunset? Uh huh. <laughs> I will say sunrise <laughs> because the light is like uh, is like shining over the, uh, the clouds. Uh, exactly. <laughs> that's why. That's why I'm clouds, here. So I'll help you out. I think it's more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's more like sunrise. Yeah. What color is the water? That was. I thought that was pretty interesting. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if you look at the wave, it's uh, it's uh, white. Yeah, oh, the crashing of the wave. Yeah, that yeah, part, that white. foam or something. The yeah. other part is black. Yeah, it's I black. think it's the contrast with the light. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I thought all right here in this uh, por portion of the wave is um, it looks kind of like an emerald green to me. So that yeah, it looks green to me. So more uh, 
not so wonderful images of the things that are happening around the world. So we'll see if we go into that a little bit. Hi there, Christian. How are you? Hi, Lisa. Nice to meet you. Yes. Christian, where are you from? I'm from Colombia. Colombia. Okay. Wonderful. Welcome. And uh, what time is it there in Colombia? Thank you. Oh. Say it again? 9 o'clock p.m. Oh, only 9. Oh, okay. 9, nine o'clock. Okay. Just two hours. Yes. I'm, I'm in Washington State, so for me... Uh, it's 7 p.m. and Asia is in Montreal, and so it's what 10 there. Asia? Exactly. Okay. Uh, Claudio Javier in the Verbling chat. Um, if you want to enter, you have to uh, click on this the join class button. Um, if you are a member, if not, then you need to either become a member <laughs> or um, are they still having ways where you can get some free tickets? Anybody know? I haven't been keeping up with that. So, but the best is just to buy a membership, and then you get to go to all the classes, and it makes it a lot easier that way. And you can reserve your seats ahead of time, so to make sure that you get into the classes that you want to uh, participate in. Otherwise, uh, you uh, just come to each class, and if you want to join, you just click on the the join class button that should be there up above the video. Okay, so Christian and Aisha, let's just get started. There might be some other people who join us. We, you never know. Uh, we can have up to nine people in the Verbling chat. So, um, okay, two people can't enter. Is there, I guess I better deal with this. Can you see the, uh, I'm going back to, to rejoin the class. There should be... Uh, join class button right above the video and if it if it's not there then hopefully somebody at Verbling can um, make some kind of a fix. Andres is saying that the hangout is over. No, it just started. So maybe you have to make sure that you go to uh, the class uh, where it's under me. You know, I'll, I'll see if I can give you the link. It says the class is live now uh, with Lisa. So I'm going to give you the link. Maybe that will help. On my end, it just says rejoin the class, but I don't want to click on that. So if you go to that link, perhaps um, that will work for you. In the meantime, let me just quickly go over here to uh, Facebook so I can let these guys know what's going on for you guys. Uh, So we'll see. Looks like some people can join, so we'll just, um, we have Aisha and Christian who didn't have a problem joining, and I did let the Verbling people know, so if there is some problem that needs to be fixed, hopefully they can work on it while we continue the class. Okay, did you guys uh, go to that uh, page? You, you don't necessarily have to open it if you don't want to. I'm going to put the pictures here on the screen so that everybody who's watching and listening to this class, this video, uh, you can follow along. All right, so here's the first one up. And the title of this one is Photo of the Day. And let me just make sure everybody knows that this is the National Geographic website under photography. And there's something on this website called Photo. Hi everybody, this is Lisa and it's time for another English uh, class here on Verbling and in this hour we're going to be looking at a bunch of photos on the internet and we're going to practice talking about them, describing them, what we see and um, talking about them a little bit and so this gives us a way uh, to improve vocabulary and perhaps uh, just improve your uh, ability to describe things in more detail. Sometimes when you are asked to describe things, uh, you might have to use words that aren't always um, so common, uh, but it's good to practice uh, this skill anyways. So, um, hi there, Aisha. How are you? Good. Good. <laughs> no, I'm done. Sorry. Okay, good. No problem. And on this, how are you? 
uh, in chat there. So we do have some reservations for the class. So we'll see uh, who shows up. I put the link to the first uh, page that we're going to be using so we can find some nice uh, photographs. It's the National Geographic uh, website. So obviously that magazine is known to have some really amazing um, photographs. Some photographers from all around the world um, uh, contribute to the magazine and also to the website. So it's a, it's a nice place to find um, interesting photographs that have things to do with uh, people different from different cultures, nature, landscapes, animals, all types of uh, things like that. Um, sometimes we might also look at some that are from like news websites but oftentimes those have some, I don't know, look cool. So this part, uh, so this is a picture of a wave. Um, it's in Wa Oahu which is in Hawaii, one of the islands of Hawaii and does anybody else want to add something to H's description? Anything else that you noticed about this photo that is interesting to you? I don't know uh, what is the kind of color is like green or 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 yeah, blue, but I don't know, like a cyan. I don't know. Yeah, this part right here. The uh, sorry, hold on. This part right here. Yes. Like, yeah. To me, it looks like a emerald green, kind of like a darker green. It gets lighter up here, and um, this is an interesting uh, photo because it's showing just the wave, and it's starting to break over here. But he got it. He's still watching the wave as it curls. That's called curling. And this is um, area right there is called like the barrel of the wave. And it, that's sometimes where the surfers like to go. And you see surfers going along that underneath as it's a crashing or cresting, we call it. So that's kind of interesting. Um, actually, I think uh, this photo is, let's see, oops, close that. Um, yes, it's a water during. He shot it knee deep in the water during sunrise on the northeast side of Oahu. So yes, you were right, Asia. It's a sunrise, not a sunset. So it looks like the because of the clouds and the sun, you can see it kind of. It looks like it's pushing up above the clouds. So good. All right, that's nice. 